Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about civics and autism. A couple of weeks ago, I got a question from a mom. A question from a mom whose child is in the eighth grade in Florida. That means they're taking civics. They have to learn to be a good patriotic American, and they are learning that mythology. The, uh, the child is aware of the world. So their experiences say one thing. The course says something else. You know, they sit there and they listen to the teacher talk about the rule of law and the equal application of justice, and then they look at the news and they're like, wow, that teacher's lying to me. Um, now, I, I have a framing device that I've used for this disconnect for the disconnect between the way the system is supposed to work and the way the system does. I've used it before on the channel. The thing is, I don't know anything about autism. Not really. So before I, I said, hey, you know, maybe think of framing it this way, I wanted to make sure that that wouldn't be harmful. You know, So I reached out to experts on autism. Hours of conversation, and I walked away knowing less than I did when I started. Um, it was incredibly frustrating for me. And, and I'm not personally involved in it. I, I can't imagine how frustrating it would be for a parent. There is a an idea that because this topic is so present in the media that we have a good understanding of it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems that the academic world is focused on research and not necessarily the practical application of that research. There, there's a disconnect there. I was asking what to me seemed to be a pretty simple question and could not get a straight answer. That's uh, probably something that field needs to look at is the the research for research's sake is great, but there are people who could benefit from a practical application of that research today. I was venting about this on Twitter. That's basically like, you know, I talked to a whole bunch of experts on autism, and the only thing I know now is that nobody knows anything about autism. Somebody in the comments have you considered talking to autistic adults? I mean, yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. 22 minutes later, 22 minutes later, I had more insight, more information, and a better understanding than I, I got from hours of conversations with academics. That disconnect is real. That disconnect is real. Um, so what's the framing device? You may have heard me refer to the Declaration of Independence as a promise, an ideal to strive towards, not that that's how things actually work. Um, because I didn't know a whole lot about autism. My, my experiences were pretty limited. Uh, what I knew was that people I had worked with in the past in the security field were brilliant analytical minds with less than stellar social skills. But the reason they were great analytically is because they didn't like uncertainty. And in the security field, eliminating uncertainty is a huge part of the job. It made them indispensable. They could provide analysis in, in a day that would take other people a week. Um, that was my experience. So I was concerned about introducing that uncertainty, that this is the ideal, this is what we're striving for. <laughs> what you see, your experiences as far as what you've seen in the world, that's the way it is, what it should be and what it is are two very different things. One's a promise, an ideal of how the system should function. That system is made up of people. 
people are imperfect and some people are bad. Therefore, that system rarely functions as it should, or even something that even resembles the way it should. That's how I would try to uh, address and reconcile what's being taught in that course and the world around them. There are a couple of other things we should notice from this. This push to teach civics in a fashion that is not critical of how things actually work. This patriotic education, this embracing of mythology. Those people who pushed for it, they wanted it to create, you know, great Americans. And let's be honest, indoctrinate people a little bit. I certainly feel like that is going to backfire spectacularly. A student in the eighth grade is more than capable of discerning that what they're being taught in class is a lie. It's not the way the world functions. And many of those people in political office, such as those people who push for these kind of courses, have no intention of making it function that way. I'm fairly certain that a student identifying this in the eighth grade is not going to lead to love of country. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, though. I think a uh, healthy skepticism of political leaders is probably something we need to encourage. The flip side to that is that in the ideal, in the promise, we direct the country, the, the citizens. We are so far away from that promise where all men are created equal, all people are created equal today would be the phrasing, that uh, it is painfully obvious to an eighth grader. We are doing such a bad job of keeping those promises, of steering the country towards the ideal, that it doesn't match up at all. The world as it exists, as experienced by an eighth grader who is aware of the news, suggests that everything they're being taught, nobody's even trying to make it happen. Probably something that we should think about as a society and how we can get from where we are to a little bit closer to that ideal. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.